Greetings. This is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Today's talk focuses on an idea uh, that I call the Tesla Sherpa idea uh, for, for semi-trucks. As we've discussed, Elon Musk is currently focused on what's going to happen with uh, long-haul semi-trucks. It's my suggestion that a great way to use the early versions that are testing this is in what I call a Sherpa situation. So what this is about is the fact that um, one of the areas that electric trucks have a huge advantage over diesel is in mountain situations. The electric truck has plenty of torque and therefore can get over those mountains efficiently without any drama. And on the back side of the mountain, regenerative braking both helps to reduce the amount of damage to the truck, uh, the brakes, etc., and allows sort of an, an easier exit from those mountain passes. So what one could do is have electric uh, Teslas sitting at both ends of the mountain, and as loads were coming in, one could sort of hand off uh, those, those trailers to new tractors that were electric to haul over those mountains more efficiently. Um, at that point, the, the driver in the original tractor could go with the load that's there or simply um, uh, stop at that point and wait for a load coming off the mountain and take it in the other direction again. Um, this saves fuel, it saves time, and costs related to moving freight. I um, was also coming up with this as a solution because there's another problem that pops up, which is currently without using a lot of supercharger, the degradation rate is somewhere between six and 10% at 200,000 miles. When it comes to uh, long haul trucking, uh, a class A truck is expected to do 500,000 miles a year. So, um, useful life of these vehicles is typically five years, so 2.5 million miles is about the run. And if you're getting 6% to 10% degradation at um, 500,000 miles, somewhere in that million, million and a half zone, you probably drop below 50% uh, charge on those batteries. And at this point, I think that what that means is that. Um, it probably gets to the point where it doesn't make sense to recharge the batteries anymore because they take all the power and time, but, but so many of the cells have died in that battery that it makes more sense to get rid of it after three years and start afresh. And the question is, can you get your return on investment uh, fast enough to make that useful life work? Um, one way to get it, I think, is the Sherpa idea I just described as a start, particularly because there are going to be a lot of testing situations that go with it. Um, sort of an on the ground example that I experienced uh, with this is in Jamaica. Uh, the Chinese government recently built a toll road that runs over the mountains between Kingston and Montego Bay. The problem they've run into is the owners of trucks have had to do an interesting process of figuring out do they take bad roads to go around the entire island or do they take their trucks with a toll across the mountains and the damage to the engine and brakes that comes from the downhill portions of that are so great that they're hard pressed to figure out which of those they'd like to do. So I think it's an interesting sort of question of which way to go. Um, I think it's an interesting question of, you know, how does the 2170 battery perform versus the 81650 on heavy use and therefore how much degradation do you see that may or may not allow it to be in service as long as the normal long haul truck uh, parts would be. Uh, interesting challenge to, to address. Thank you for taking time out to watch. Um, this is Greg for Tesla Fan Insight. Please like and subscribe. Tschüss, Max Good. Au revoir, à tout à l'heure. Um, la hit road, Choda Hafez. Um, and look forward to our next conversation.